How's it going guys and welcome back to Off The Grid. So, the plan for today, at least the initial plan, is to head up and, well, basically start to do a bit of tree felling uh, up at the silo bunkers. So, we're gonna head over there, get the truck fired up, lovely sound on that. Should we drop the sides down? We should probably drop one side. We'll do that. Then if we drive in, we can sort of just load into that side. That'll be good. Okay, get the trailer hooked up. We'll get the um, the tractor onto the trailer here. It'll just save us a walk back to get the trailer or the tractor. That truck is a little bit high for the trailer. It's actually lifting one of the, the wheels there on the front axle. It's okay, though. All right. Let's get that loaded up. I think that barrel might hit the ground, so we might have a bit of trouble here. I'm going to take it with a bit of speed. Oh, up you go. There we are should do just fine. When in doubt, use more speed. Alright. Oh. Bit heavy. Front wheels are lifting off the ground ever so slightly. There's not a lot of weight in this truck. So pulling trailers can be a bit... Um, a bit uncomfortable, but not too bad. We're not going far, so it's fine. All right, that should do. Get the messy off. Okay. So I don't really know where to start. I mean, I kind of want to clear this area out because I am thinking about the possibility of maybe getting some chickens, possibly pigs. Wouldn't be a bad idea. And I think they would um, do pretty well in this area here. So maybe we should just start clearing out this area. Yeah, I think so. I think that'll work. I don't want to clear everything out. Um, I do like it sort of wooded, but um, yeah, we're going to have to clear out a fair few trees here. Okay, let's start, start in the middle here. Fortunately, we don't have a stump grinder at the moment, so we're just going to have to avoid the stumps for the moment. We'll have to get one soon, though. Okay. Get this cleaned off. Lovely. Right. The question now is... How large can we cut these? Oop. Balancing is a bit odd on it. Maybe lying on a stump or something. I think we should be able to lift that. If not, we'll just cut them in half again. It'll be fine. Nice. Grab that. Light enough to lift by hand. Let's get that trailer dropped down. Perfect. All right. Get 
everything seems to be working okay. So yeah, the lifting capacity on this is not great, but we'll see how it does. That seems to be happy enough. Actually, we should turn this around. I thought we were maybe going to start that direction. This thing does have some serious off-road off -road capabilities though, which is nice. Okay. What should do? Probably put the bigger pieces on the truck here. Not a huge reach on the Massey here. Front loader is fairly small. Go right up against the trailer just lightly. Mm. That should be fine like that. I do like the little Massey. Nice little reliable tractor definitely had a hard life before we we bought it but um, yeah unfortunately it's probably not gonna have an easier life out here in fact it might even be worse yeah we'll try and take good care of it service it regularly keep it maintained as best we can I'm wondering if I cut these logs shorter, if we'll actually be able to get more on there. We'll see how it goes. Should be able to get a fair few on the trailer as well. Again, I am mindful of the fact that if we're going to have a heavily loaded trailer, um, I don't want to overload the truck either because it might make it difficult for driving uh, down the down the mountain here which we're gonna have to do if we're gonna take this to market so yeah I don't want to lift those front wheels off the ground too much so maybe maybe not putting more on there is not the worst idea in the world Right, so I think what we'll do is we'll jump into a time lapse and we'll get some of these trees down. We'll see how many we can do today. And um, yeah, we'll see how far we get. We might actually take this into town as well, see if we can get a bit of log sold. And also might not be the worst idea to see while we're heading that direction if we can pick up a stump grinder for a decent price because we're definitely going to need one out here it's going to be tricky if we're going to be running out of st or over stumps the tractor has um fairly small wheels it's a small tractor so yeah it'll be uncomfortable running over them if we were in a bigger tractor i probably wouldn't be too worried about it but we're going to need to clear them out anyway if we're going to be putting up some structures here so maybe the possibility of some chickens, a chicken coop, and maybe some pigs. I'd like to get some pigs here. The only problem is going to be feeding them. Maybe we should um, wait until we can get some arable crops going. I mean, we could always buy some food in. That sounds expensive though. Same with chickens. Buying food in, I don't know if it's really worth it. That pushed over. I don't want to drop him off. That should be fine. Okay. So, uh, yeah. I think we're going to jump into a real quick time lapse. And get some more trees down here. Get that trailer loaded up. Or the truck and the trailer loaded up as much as we possibly can. And 
the trip into town is a long one so we want to make the most of it uh, when we do drive down it takes a good while so yeah we're gonna do that so for now sit back relax and enjoy this night i guess i'll take you home again So wrong to fight, I'll keep you warm inside. I'll be the one who gives what you want to. I'll be the one who is what you won't do. I'll be Right, well, we were able to fit two full trees on the truck and trailer. I think if we cut them a little bit shorter, we might actually be able to fit three of them on there. But we went down, got the logs sold, and we did okay. We got 3000 just over $3,300. And I decided to go have a look at the second-hand department at the local equipment dealership. And unfortunately, they didn't have any stump grinders. What they did have, however, was a little John Deere skid steer. And 
priced pretty well and came with a bucket and they also had this so this is a stump grinder that attaches to a front loader so all in all came in at three and a half thousand dollars which i think is not bad at all now the problem is the skid steer is so heavy we couldn't put it on the trailer so what we did is they had some steel ramps there so we put it on the back of the truck which is great and um, it kind of worked but um we're stuck we can't get this hill climbed out i had a few close calls but i was able to um to make it to here um i got stuck once but was able to sort of crawl it out but this here is a no-go um we're very much stuck so yeah putting the skid steer on the trailer just lifted the front end up the front of the truck is very very light but um yeah unfortunately we're not going anywhere this thing is buried yeah, we're, we're, we're not going anywhere. We're just digging deeper. So, um, yeah, a bit of a problem. So I think what I'm going to do is I know one of the, the local guys around here and he's got a big Massey Ferguson. So I'm maybe going to ask him if we can use that tractor because it's also got uh, double wheels on it. So, yeah, if we can maybe use that and hopefully he's got a tow bar. Then we're going to try and tow this home. I don't know if we're going to be able to attach to this. Hmm. Might be a bit of a, bit of a problem. Anyway. Let's, um... I, I, I'm going to give him a call. And, um, see. It wouldn't be too far from here to walk there. So, yeah. Let's see if we can get that. And whether that thing will actually be able to hook up to here. Otherwise, we might need to use some sort of a chain or something. All right. I'm going to do that. Alright, well, that got us up the hill. Uh, wasn't exactly easy, but not too bad. Has a lot of grip, that tractor, so, um, yeah. Unfortunately, not a massive amount of power. Not as much as I would have expected from a big machine like that. But anyway, we are back at the farmyard. And now, the next job is going to be to try and get the skid steer off of the truck I don't have the the fancy ramps hmm I'll have to figure that one out I'll have to um, yeah, come up with some sort of a solution I'm sure I'm sure we'll figure something out anyway I think um, I think this is gonna be handy to have around the farm not just for for logging but yeah, probably for a few other jobs as well. We're going to have to look into some sort of a solution to be able to do towing a little bit easier. Um, this truck just doesn't enjoy weight at all. So yeah, bit of a problem. But yeah, we're here nonetheless. That's good. Yeah, so um, we, we had to get a chain... Um, I sort of realized that there's there's no way for us to attach a tow bar, which I would have felt more comfortable with because it's more rigid. But now yeah, the chain worked fine and got us up here in the end. So, yeah, 
That's all good. Yeah, unfortunately, um, that took, well, the whole day just to get up that hill. So, yeah, not ideal, but at least we got a bit of money. We've got some new equipment and we had a bit of an interesting experience. But, um, yeah, that was kind of fun. But I think that's all we're going to have time for today. So we're going to leave it there for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you all next time.